Hey, welcome to the show. Wow, these people are super small. I think they're about the size of an inch. And that's what we're going to learn today is what is an inch? That is a unit of measure, a unit of length. So I'm going to tell you all about it. Stay tuned. Hey, welcome back to the show. Today on the show, we're going to be talking about an inch. What is an inch? It is a unit of measure. I'm sure you've heard about inches, feet, yard, and even miles. For example, maybe your school is about seven miles from your home. And a mile is, hello, kitty. Our kitty is always joining the show. So kitty, I just was telling the audience here, we're talking about inches. And maybe your school is maybe seven miles from your house. And a mile is a long, you know, ways. It, it takes about, in a car, it takes about a minute to go one mile. So it's a very large unit of measure. But today we're talking about an inch, and that is a smaller type of unit of measure. For example, I have a quarter. A quarter is about the size of an inch. I am using a tape measure, and a tape measure has the inches written right on there. And it's kind of nice because you can collapse it like this and you can walk around it. You can have it on your, your belt. Um, a lot of uh, carpenters will use it. So this is a really nice way to uh, tell the size of things, to measure things. At your school, you might have a ruler that looks like this. And this on your ruler, it'll have inches right here labeled in the, in the, you know, it's the bigger uh, numbers right here. And you'll notice that there are some smaller numbers down here, and that is centimeters. And that's even a smaller unit of measure, but we're not gonna be talking about that today. We'll leave that for another day. We're just talking about inches. Now, I know some of you are not at school right now, and you're at home, and you might not have a ruler or you might not have a tape measure. So the closest thing I would recommend is a quarter. So I'm sure most of you have a quarter and you can use that to measure things uh, to the closest inch. It is about 0.9555 um, of an inch. So it's super close, it's not equal exactly equal to an inch, but it's about the closest you're gonna have to an inch. There are some other things in your house that you might uh, use for measuring things. For example, if you have a piece of paper at your house, you will um, know that from here to there, that is equal to 11 inches. That is exactly 11 inches long. So that is kind of a neat way to know um, how long something is in inches. So I'm sure you all have a piece of paper. Also, if you have a uh, index card, maybe uh, your brothers or sisters are studying, you know, in high school and they might have an index card. An index card is five inches long by three inches wide. Okay, that is um, how long an index card is. Now you're saying, what? Explain to me more what an inch is, Mr. Jeff. All right. This right here, from the beginning of your tape measure to the beginning of your ruler, right from here to there, that is one inch. So, for example, I want to measure this eraser. This is a dry erase eraser. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the end of my tape measure right here. I'm going to put the, my tape measure right at the, the beginning of this eraser. And you can see how long is that tape measure. Can you see that? That is five inches long. From here to there is five inches. Here's one inch, two inches, three inches, four inches, five inches. This eraser right here is five inches long. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ask you a question. I want you to tell me your best guess 
how many inches long is this Nerf dart right here? Now, when I say best guess, there's another term for that, and that is estimate. I want you to estimate how long this dart is in inches. Can you do that for me? So try to pretend how many quarters that's going to take. What was your estimate on how long this Nerf dart is? All right, let's check it out. Let's take the tape measure here. The kitty loves my Nerf darts. It's always taking these Nerf darts and playing with them. Okay, let's see how long that is. I am measuring that Nerf dart, and how long is it? The exact unit of measure is about three inches. So to review, what you did is you gave me your best guess, and that's called estimate. You estimated how long that is in inches, and we then checked it with our ruler and that is three inches long. Okay, let's try a few more measuring problems. Give me your best estimate. How long do you think this computer mouse is? Take a look at the quarter there. Now remember, a quarter is about one inch. If you said four inches, yes, it's about four inches long. Let's try this crayon. How long do you think this crayon is? What is your best estimate? This crayon is about four inches long. Here is a wasp. How long do you think this wasp is? This wasp is about one inch long. Here is a worm. How long do you think this worm is? This worm is one inch long. What is your best guess or estimate on how long this chicken egg is? This chicken egg is about two inches long. Hey, thanks a lot for watching the show today. I want to send out a special thanks to that hen for allowing me to measure her egg. And remember, if you don't have a tape measure or a ruler, then a quarter will probably be the closest to an inch that you could use. So once again, an estimate is your best guess and an inch is a measure of unit and I hope you had a beautiful day. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.